So uh, in the current uh, ESC uh, meeting, the new uh, non st segment elevation acute coronary syndrome uh, guidelines were released. And in these uh, new guidelines, uh, Prasugrel has a class one indication for uh, non st segment elevation acute coronary syndromes. It's important to remember that uh, already in previous guidelines, uh, uh, Prasugrel had a class one indication for STEMI but now the indication has been expanded to non-STEMI. And I think this is very important because uh, the new guidelines clearly state that uh, newer P2Y12 uh, inhibitors such as Prasugrel are superior to Clopidogrel in all patients with non-STEMI. And uh, Clopidogrel is now reserved, according to these guidelines, for patients who uh, do not uh, qualify or have contraindication to one of the two new P2Y12 inhibitors, such as Prasugran. With respect to diabetes patient, uh, we know that Prasugran is uh, of particular efficacy. Uh, in the Triton study, it has been demonstrated that diabetic patients with uh, acute coronary syndrome derive a dramatic benefit of this new agent both in terms of reduction of myocardial infarction and also of stent thrombosis. The issue of stent thrombosis is particularly important in diabetic patients because we know that they are at increased risk of stent thrombosis. As a consequence, in the absence of contraindication, Prasugrel is indicated for all diabetic patients with acute coronary syndrome, for sure in all STEMI patients but again, also in non-STEMI patients if they are not contraindication to it.